Hello, Phil here from Wings of Pegasus and welcome to another analysis video. On the agenda tonight we have Pete Drake and this is going to be coming from the Jimmy Dean Show and I think this is around 1964-1965 and it's certainly the earliest video I've seen of somebody using the talk box effect or at least the effect that became known as the talk box later on. In this case it's just Pete Drake and his talking guitar but let's have a little look at the video and see how he gets on. Drake and uh, yeah. uh, Pete is a steel guitar player but he's not just another steel guitar player he spent a great deal of time with this little gadget right here and he developed something that I think you're gonna find rather interesting they refer to him as Pete Drake and his talking guitar and I want to get him to do something for you and are you ready Pete? I'm ready. All right, y'all wired up and everything? All right, let's go then. All right. I'm just a guitar. Everybody bets on me. I'm just a guitar. Everybody bets on me. I want, I, want to, I want to straighten some out because one of the girls on our show asked this question and, and she thought perhaps that this thing was connected to the vocal cords and could damage or hurt something. And this does not have anything to do with the vocal cord. It doesn't hurt anything, right? No. Uh-huh. I see. I'll tell you what I'd like to get you to do, Pete. Would you do me something? Uh, so make it say something like, uh, uh, don't go away, uh, folks. Or we'll be back with more of the, well, you know who show, all right? Don't go away, folks. We'll be right back with the Jimmy Dean Show. And there we have it, a little bit of fun talking at the end. But what I love about this video is the fact that you can see it is absolutely cutting edge technology for the time. Just the way that Jimmy Dean reacts to it and the way that Pete really overuses the effect because it's the first time they've ever heard anything like this with a guitar sound, with a steel guitar. I know that in 1939, Alvino Ray and his wife combined a tone from a guitar with the tone from a throat microphone and it gave it a similar sound but certainly in the 60s when this video was shot it was the first time anyone had ever heard anything like this. I've done a video on Joe Walsh using the talk box and also Peter Frampton. A lot of people said that Joe was the first one to use the talk box but we can see here it was in use before the 70s. I think Peter Frampton when he used one he had a hit with that talk box sound so people started to attribute that sound to him as an artist but it was certainly around before that and it depends how specific you want to get about things but the effect is being used here in the mid 60s like I mentioned earlier the actual effect was around in the late 30s but when it's actually called a talk box if you're just calling it a talk box that's more like kind of a brand name or the name of an invention so when it was actually called a talk box that came later on and that's why it was known as that in the 70s but we can see here that a lot of people 
will call this the talk box because it's got that classic tube in the mouth which is basically blowing the sound of the guitar into the mouth which is then coming out of the mouth and by shaping your mouth into different shapes of words that you'll say that's how you'll get that sound of the guitar tone like it's talking. Just a quick word on Pete's playing. Of course, his playing here is just showing off an effect. So if his playing was off and he was slightly flat and sharp, obviously it would sound awful. But because Pete's really solid with that playing, he can really show off the effect and people can start listening to the effect because all the musicality, all the melody is already taken care of. So Pete is absolutely on the ball there. Another thing that he does is he has two distinct sections where the first section is very much showing the effect without any vibrato or expression so you get that mechanical almost like a robot talking and then he goes into a second lead section where he now applies a bit more technique and throws in a bit of vibrato as well so we get a little bit more emotion in that second half so even that is a very conscious and deliberate decision in order to do that to show off two different sounds that this talk box can give you the Pete was a great musician in his own right. In the 1960s, he is one of the most sought-after backing musicians. He did a lot of work with Bob Dylan. I think it was on three albums. And also on Tammy Wynette's Stand By Your Man. That was Pete Drake as well. So he had a great resume and worked on a lot of stuff with a lot of very well-known artists. But here, he puts together a really great little piece just to show off an effect. And it's great to see it this early on, but also to see how much he's enjoying it because he knows how innovative and how new it is and Jimmy Dean you can see as well really enjoys it. But just a quick video to show that Pete Drake was using this in the mid 60s and it would be called the talk box later on but at this stage it's just called Pete Drake and his talking guitar but everyone will now know this effect as the talk box. But thank you so much for suggesting this video for me to take a look at and keep those suggestions coming in the comments below. Let me know what you guys think and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you guys at the next one.